Hey guys, so for this recipe, what you're gonna need, first things first, you're gonna need chicken breast, you're gonna need butter, parsley. This, um, I got it at Kroger and it's only 89 cents per bunch and it's actually a lot, so that's really good. It's inexpensive. And you're gonna need lemon, minced garlic, your choice of vegetables. I always like to get these um, frozen broccoli and it's already cut up for you. Uh, but you could get fresh as well, it's really up to you. You're gonna need spaghetti or really whatever type of pasta you want. You could use a bow tie, penne, whatever type you want, just any type of pasta. For this, for this specific recipe, I like to use the real Parmesan cheese and this wedge is like seven dollars but um it's a, i mean it's a pretty good amount you're still gonna have some leftover and salt and pepper um and if you don't want to use chicken for this you can substitute for shrimp uh it'll taste good as well so really it's up to you i just like to do chicken bec because it's easier and my kids don't really like seafood so this is everything you're gonna need pretty simple basic nothing too expensive nothing out of the ordinary so I'm gonna start prepping for it and I'll be back in a minute to show you guys uh, the first step okay guys so I just cut my chicken in half and um, the top portion was a little bit thicker so I got this smaller piece out of it which is fine because I cut it up anyway I just want to show you guys really quick what I used to season and I just used uh, salt pepper and this Italian seasoning um, but I don't put a lot because this is nothing but dried herbs and it can be pretty overpowering and if you put a lot it's just it's not gonna be good so I just put a little bit so just a little bit of salt just an even coat on all of them and them. Make sure you season both sides really good because chicken tends to be a little bland so you want to make sure that um, you get some good flavor in there and just clean my hand and then you're gonna put pepper. I mean the seasoning is really up to your taste how much ever you want to put whatever Whatever seasoning you want to put in it, these are just the three things that I like to put in it because I don't like, I like the chicken to have flavor but not too overpowering. So, and just a little bit of the, this is just how much I add, just like that. Again, this is nothing but dried herbs, so just be careful with this. I mean, you can add more, but just, it's not something that you want to add like a thick layer of it because um, it, I mean unless you like that very um, strong flavor but I don't so I just put that and again this side just some pepper you can use whatever pepper you want I like to be fancy I'm just kidding but I just have this one, it's just black peppercorn and you just grind it yourself. And again, just a little bit of the dried herbs, just like that. And that's it. And I just start layering them here until it's time to cook. So, um, I like to buy the big packs of the chicken breast because I'm probably not going to use the whole thing because that's a lot and it's only four of us and I mean you know the kids don't eat much so I'm probably gonna have a lot left over and I'll probably make some flautas tomorrow with that or something you know that way I can just boil it but I'm just gonna finish cutting up the chicken and seasoning it and I'll be back in a minute to show you oh and I do let me move my tripod I have already the pot of uh, full of water boiling and the pasta is ready to go in there. So let me just show you guys real quick. And again to this, I just add generous amount of salt. I'm gonna go ahead and do it now because it is ready. So I add a generous amount of salt. 
I don't know if the steam is letting you see, but I add a pretty good amount because again, I want the pumpkin to have a lot of flavor. Just like that, and then again, the Italian seasoning, just sprinkle some. I don't add too much of this because it's very strong. And I am gonna add the parsley anyway, so it's really just to flavor the pasta a little more. And then if you wanted to, to make the process, uh, the cooking process a little bit faster, you could add a little bit of oil. I'm just gonna add a little bit, not a lot, just literally just a little bit of drops. Because as soon as you drop it in there, it, the temperature's gonna go way up and it's gonna start cooking it faster, okay? And let me get the spaghetti. Okay. So now we're just going to add the spaghetti all in there. Just like that. Be careful with that. Just grab a fork. And then just start um, slowly putting it all in there. And your pasta, you want to cook it 10 to 12 minutes. Um, the biggest mistake that you can make when making pasta is overcooking it. If you overcook your pasta, it's going to get very soggy. And whatever type of sauce or flavor you put on there, it's not going to grab onto it because it's going to be too soggy and watery and it's not going to be flavorful it's not going to be good okay so just be careful don't overcook your pasta because remember whatever type of sauce you put in there more than likely obviously that sauce is going to be hot so it's going to cook it even a little more so the most that i would suggest for you to leave your pasta is 12 minutes and then drain it right away okay so i'm just gonna move it around just make sure you move it around to so that it will not stick together and yeah okay guys so now I'm just going to cut up the parsley and you just need a little bit not a lot um, it's really just to add a little more flavor and more for decoration just to give it a vibrant color so you don't need a lot just like that and I just roll it all up together and just start, start chopping it up. So just like that, just a rough chop and I'm just gonna set this to the side. And you're gonna need a little bit of lemon zest, so just have a small bowl here and I'm just gonna wash it really hey baby this is my son he's feeling sick say hi puppy hi <laughs> okay so make sure it's focused okay so um, I just have a basic cheese grater and I'm using the smaller side for the lemon zest so I just put it over the bowl like that and just start grating the skin off. And this, uh, the lemon zest is gonna really give it that really lemony flavor and it's gonna bring out the flavors of the parsley and the cheese and it's just gonna, it's gonna be really good. Don't be scared to use this in a dish. I used to think that, you know, it would just taste it would be too much or too um, acidic, but it actually, you can't really taste it. But you, I mean, you can't taste the actual zest, but if you start using it, you will notice a difference. If you make it again and you don't add the lemon zest, you will notice that the lemon zest does give it a better flavor. So I'm just gonna grate, I'm just gonna take off the skin from this whole lemon and make sure that you just get the, the top part. The white part is the bitter part, so if you uh, take out too much of the white part, that's when it starts to be too acidic, so just be careful with that. And it smells amazing, like honestly, 
it just makes your whole house smell lemony and fresh it's so good okay so and again I mean you don't need a lot if you if it's your first time trying this then I would suggest just add a little bit just do maybe half of it and you know you you will you will see the difference and just try it you know it's not it's not gonna hurt you to try new things I used to be scared to try different foods or you know like this right here but it is really good just trust me on this one so just like that and I'll just get and this is how it is it's literally oh my god excuse my ratchet nails um, I worked the Tejano Por Siempre event this weekend and my nails literally all broke off every time I had to open all the beers. So, yeah, they're very ratchet. Okay, so, and this is about how much. I'm probably just going to end up using a little bit less because um, this is my son's little plate. <laughs> so, I'm probably just going to end up using... Just that much so you know again like I said if you're not too comfortable with it then you don't have to use it you know just use whatever you feel comfortable with use whatever you want um, and I did already drain my pasta um, I just cooked it for about 10 minutes because when I added the oil it did uh, make it cook faster so it only took about 10 minutes so now I'm gonna go ahead and grate my cheese. Again, it's really up to your own preference. That's what I love about this dish. You can add as much or as little ingredients as you personally want and it's still going to taste good. Um, I really don't have any, any measurements on each ingredient. I really just eyeball it. But I'll go, I will post um, some measurements. You know, I know there's people that just like to do exact measures. I'm not one of those people. I just throw whatever I want on it and call it a day. But I will go ahead and, and um, write down the measurements. So I'm just gonna start grating my cheese now. And I'm using, again, the small side where I use the lemon, just so that um, it can be easy to melt in with the pasta. And this, honestly, this is what makes the difference, okay? Um, I know that buying the the Kraft grated cheese will be cheaper, but honestly, if you just spend a little more, you know, just a few more dollars, it's really gonna make your whole dish just taste completely different. And using the natural Parmesan cheese is what really makes this dish. So, I mean, I got it for like, I think it was like $7 but you can probably get it cheaper at Walmart, I'm not sure. So just grate it and... And I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks, just like that. Um, it has a little bit of the lemon, but that's okay. So I'm gonna continue grating this and I'm just gonna go ahead and grate all of it because it just makes it easier for me so that next time I use it, it's already grated. So I just like to grate it all and then I put it in a Ziploc bag and that way I, you know, I don't have to grate it again. So I'm just going to finish grating this and I will be back to show you guys when I put the chicken on the grill. Okay guys, so I had already cut up on my chicken and seasoned it and I put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on the grill. Let me see if you can tell. Okay. Just a thin coat, okay? So I'm just gonna start adding my chicken. And you wanna make sure that it's very hot so that it can cook fast and even. So just put it all on your grill. Just like that.
Okay guys, so while my chicken is cooking over there, I'm going to start making the sauce, which is what is going to be going on top of the pasta. And I know for some people you're going to be like, oh my god, that's a lot of butter, blah, blah, blah. But it is a sauce that is, the base of the sauce is the butter. So I know it might be or seem like a lot to some people. If you don't like butter that much, and this is not going to be the dish for you, okay? But you're going to need about this much, okay? And the reason for that is because this is going to be the sauce and you you want the um you want the sauce to melt the cheese okay so again if you don't like butter or you think that this is too much then i mean you can add less and just add a little bit more lemon but it's really up to you okay so you're just let that melt um i didn't want to have the heat too high because I don't want the I don't want the butter to burn or anything because then it's just gonna ruin everything. So I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. As you can see right there, that's all done. So I'm just gonna set that aside. Okay. And let's just keep melting this butter. Once it's all melted then you can add your garlic so it can start cooking in there and I add about that much about a little less than a tablespoon okay so just put it in there so it can start cooking it as well okay and then you can add the um, the lemon I add like one and a half so just add the whole thing in there and I'm going to turn it down a little so it won't foam up. And the lemon is going to give it a really nice uh, fresh flavor to it so that way it's not, um, it'll balance out all the saltiness going on. So I do one and a half like that, okay? And if you see that you need a little bit more sauce and just add a little bit more, more butter, you know, it's really just up to you. Okay, so I'm gonna, I add the lemon zest at the end. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and some pepper. Okay, just a sprinkle, not a lot. And I do like to add a lot of black pepper because that's what really gives it the flavor as well. Kind of like a carbonara. Just like that. Okay. Okay guys, so I just took off the sauce from the heat. That was pretty much it, very simple. So now I'm just gonna um, assemble it all together. I just turned off the heat from my chicken as well. As you can see over there, it's already done. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it. So just add the sauce to all of the pasta. Just like that. And then you're gonna add the cheese and again it's really just optional how much you want I like to add a pretty good amount because the cheese will melt into the sauce and make it thicker so just like that and then I just start mixing it all together and make sure to get all the way at the bottom as you can see it's already starting to melt and stick let me see if you can see it starts to melt right away because of the hot butter that we just added. Okay, and then I just like to give that a little stir. And then at the end, I add the lemon zest and the parsley. Um, I add it at the end because I don't want to cook it. I just warm it. I just want to warm it up a little bit. And then add your parsley. 
just like that. Again, it's really up to your preference, um, like how much you want to add. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese to it. <coughs> Just like that. Okay. okay guys, so sorry the camera cut off and I didn't even realize it, but I'm pretty much just transferred the pasta to this glass bowl just to put it in the table and so everybody can serve themselves if they want more and I just added a little bit more parsley and cheese at the top for decoration and the chicken is done so that is it for this recipe it's a very simple very quick and easy again if you wanted to add shrimp instead of chicken then you could do that and if you wanted to cut up the chicken and put it in the pasta, you could, which I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me just show you guys really quick how I do it. I just get some, my scissors. Um, just to make it easier for myself, I just get some scissors. And these, I specifically only use them for the, for the, for the kitchen. So I just cut them up like that and then just start you know putting them on there so very simple easy pretty much just the sauce is lemon butter garlic lemon lemon zest and the cheese and the broccoli is optional I usually do it um, with only parsley but I wanted broccoli in it so I put that you could do asparagus green beans really whatever you want Okay, so that's how I'm gonna serve it and I'll probably just make like a salad on the side or something just whatever you want as you can see it's very easy and this method right here with the scissors just makes your life so much easier um, and as you can see it just cuts it perfectly okay so that is it for the recipe I hope you guys liked it if you guys have any other requests uh, let me know, you know, any other type of video, makeup video, cooking, DIY, whatever you guys want to see. And thank you again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so already. And please give me a thumbs up. And Alex is over here being nosy. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.